day eight. Oh my god. <laughs> day one of week two, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully you guys had fun yesterday at our Oktoberfest adventure. All the shenanigans. Yeah. Today, for day eight, we're gonna mix it up. A uh, completely different style of beer that we haven't had yet in that first week. It is... Dia de los Mangos. Mangos! Yeah! It's from Beechwood Brewery. Technically, it's their blender... Uh, blendery. Blendery. Yeah, so it's like their um, experimental style side of their brewery. Um, man. They're experimenting. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> um, I remember when David and I went to the opening of the Huntington Beach location. Um, they had all their, you know, whatever their core beers were for that location. And they had some of the blendery stuff and all of it was like super limited for on tap. They had bottles for sale, but like people seem to be really excited about that. And that seems to be a thing that they're popular for. This is corked. Want to hold that up? Just, just, uh, yeah. Poppin' bottles. Day eight. <laughs> um, but it is a, it's a Belgian style sour ale. So it's gonna be a little bit like, um, Asylum, but with a little sour. Um, she was triumphant. Would you like to show everybody? It wasn't filmed, which I'm really sad about, but I did it. And that's the important thing. Yeah. So like I was saying, Belgian style sour ale, they say it's inspired by Mexican candies, and so they use mangoes, tamarindo, and a, on the website, it had a list of different chiles that they use. It was, um, it was a lot. They, um, they age it in, uh, oak barrels, I think, for eight weeks, so it's got a little, maybe, like, a woody flavor. It's, um, 6.9%. So let's, uh, let's pour this out. For the dead homies. I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> there you go. It almost looks like a cider mimosa. Mm hmm. Super light colored. Mm. How was that sniff? Mm. Sour. Oh, very sour. Ooh. It's a no from me, dog. No, my God. <laughs> oh my God. They are not lying. It's sour. Oh man. Britley, where are you? <laughs> yeah, she she loved this. Can this you, is too no. Can you taste the like the the almost like the the candy flavor at the end of it? Yeah, it does have that like spice mm -hmm. to it, like hits in the right in the back oh. of the throat, right? Oh man, that's an experience. Wow. Uh. Honestly, when I bought it, I didn't even know it was supposed to be sour. So. Oh no, that's good. <laughs> I'm good. Um, Thank you for playing. We got it in a 500 milliliter bottle from, from Total Wine again. So it's a pretty big bottle, but super. I don't know. I think. Very How many skulls are you giving it? Oh my god, none! None of them! You have to give them one. Fine, one. Yeah, it's in there. Man, this is awful! I'm gonna brush my teeth now. You were pretty excited about this one, too. Not that I don't brush my teeth. but Well, because if you say that you were gonna taste like mangoes, I want it to taste like mangoes. This does not, this tastes like, that. it's so spicy. Wow. I mean, it's kind of incredible. Like, they really... Like hit the nail. They hit the candy flavor. For yeah, sure. they really did it, but it's like, my God. But if I didn't tell you that, would you have known how to describe it? Um, no, because it's like spicy. Like it hits in the back of your throat, like very spicy. I don't know that I would know immediately. Like, oh yeah, it's those Mexican candies because like I don't really dig that. Like, listen, if you're gonna taste like candy, taste like candy and just be like sweet and delicious or salty. But like, I don't do sweet and spicy. Like, that's weird to me. I'm not Mexican, so. I, 
Throwing that out there. We're gonna go complete opposites. I'm giving it five spoopy skulls. Five? Yeah, dude, I like this a lot. This well, is really good. You're Mexican, so. Mm -hmm. This kind of definitely giving me a flashback to my childhood candies. He's saying that like he's not gonna have those candies over Halloween, or that he didn't have them like recently at a bar when they had a uh, freaking the margarita. Yes, that's exactly like. Oh my god, I think it's just really cool that they like. That, that's what this tastes like, and it's beer. You guys want to get a look at this uh, artwork again? The bottle again. is very pretty. Yeah, I enjoy the theme of it. Um, man, I. I don't know. We've been to Beachwood too. We went to the Long mm -hmm. Beach one. And um I mean I think their beers are pretty good, but this has to be my favorite from them. Favorite so far out of all the videos we've done. This is my favorite. You're not gonna finish yours. No, my god. So well there it is guys. Um thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, um share. go out, share, go out and get this. But yeah, so happy Monday. Yeah. Uh, <gasps> See, this is very appropriate. Now today. it's appropriate. Now it's totally appropriate. That's so funny. Uh, Not that I find. It's just a funny coincidence. The one deforestation of. We didn't even what, plan this. No, we did not. Not that deforestation is the main point of Indigenous People Day, but it is a factor. I was thinking more of the savage killing of. The basically the population of the Native Americans that were here before any of us like subscribe comment share yeah like subscribe comment and share her videos too yeah. they're fun and exciting you can see us on oh, oh, some of our older shenanigans guys a book some, reviews coming up yeah, book reviews for those of you who like to read you should all like to read but I mean it'd be ideal yeah for society check but. out her books though they're, they're really good got a few that that I gave her yeah so Cheers. And then there's Bella. Oh, yeah. oh. Our dog, though. Anyway, cheers. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. Get this.